Hi everybody, I am back. No, um, I am back. I am back in town. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. It is 20 to 3 in the afternoon and I've been busy printing out some images for our doily book. Now, as you all know, I got loads of doilies today in the post, but I want to put an image on the front of this. Let me just get you in centre. So that's what it's looking like at the minute. And it's got all our dandly trim at the bottom. So I want to put an image right in the centre of this. And so I've been looking around and I thought, oh, do you know what? I've only got so many images and I don't want to keep using the same ones over and over and over again. And I know how you can go onto Pinterest and you can print the images, printable ones from there and you can even tap into google and you can as long as it's printable and it's um you know copyright in the picture you can print it so i thought what can i do so i went on to etsy now i often do this and uh, it's a great way to get what you're looking for i went on to etsy and i was looking for printable images and this little wedding um book that came up i'll show you what was in the booklet so you had like an envelope with the pretty birds on top these are so it's it's a booklet you can put it all together so that all the images are there for you i'm going to read you down a little bit so you can see what I'm seeing. And you basically just cut them out and you put the book together. Um, see the little, small little tags to go in the envelope? Um, it's a wedding book, it is. Um, so it's wedding, you know, all wedding right. But it's vintage, which is why it caught my eye. Um, see this one, it says holy matrimony and it's got marriage. And so you can fill in the little names if you wanted to now i printed two of them out but all this you sort of print out you get the pages you get some more pages to fill in as well as the tags see that says every moment with you is so precious this one says from this day forward then you get like the little mini envelopes this is gorgeous look at that look at the flowers floating these are tags, so you cut them out individually. And then there's the other page. So, and then you get, obviously, these tags. Now, that's the first one. And the second one. And then the third one. So, I was looking for pictures, as I just said, and I thought, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And the print... So you get to print the images out. Um, it's a PDF. So if you tap into PDF in Etsy PDF, I was going for vintage images and this came up. And I think it was something like four, $4, four pound, do, four pound. I don't know whether it was in dollars or our pound. I can't remember, but it was four, four, whatever it was. It was either four pound or four dollars and basically you've got it into a pdf so you can print it as much or as little as you want it to be um i've printed every single page out to put the journal together and i'm thinking of putting it together perhaps i'll do it in an upcoming video but i want an image now in here you've got like the pages which I, I love that image and then you've got the tags and then you could even uh, print this out on fabric now I did show in my live how to print on fabric and um, so if you're unsure go and have a check out on there and you will find it so you could even print that image out on fabric see so even though they're on paper I've printed them on card you don't have to use them as card images so what I've done is I've taken this image. Now she was absolutely gorgeous and I'm looking for an image for the front of our book. I folded it in half like that and I've cut some freezer paper out and some um, like cotton type fabric and I've printed her on, fab on fabric. I'll show you the images now. Then I went ahead and I printed some of these images. 
some of these tags. So I've got the birds. I think I love the birds. And then I've got that in a tag on fabric. So again, you don't have to use them on card. So now I've explained about that, you get to see what I've printed. So I cut loads of freezer paper, cut loads of fabric. Um, I already had images used, so some of the images you've probably seen, some you haven't, and I thought, well, why not cut them on fabric since I'm doing it? So, this is all on fabric, so you get the little birds, and they've come out quite clear as well. Um, the little tag, so you can write on if you want to, if that person wanted to receive it. Um, then I went ahead and I printed these out. Now, these are actually tilde tags. And basically what you do with this is in a, a card form and you would sew on your buttons. This one is actually, again, buttons, sew on your buttons. But I like the image. So what I might do is just cut around it and use the image as part of my book. Um, Beatrix Potter. I love these little green one that I used the other night. And then the little blue one. Um, some cherubs. See, so they come out quite clear. Um, Mary Antoinette. I need her for an upcoming project. And then that image. So that image you've just seen on paper. And I've printed it on fabric. She's come out beautiful. So, we're going to use this image for the front of our book. And like I say, don't waste all this just because you want one particular image. Put it together, you'll be surprised what you'll get out of um, one journal. Because there's loads of images if you think about it. So I am going to use her for the front of our book. I went last night and I have dyed some more uh, pieces pink. Um, like, like if I show you... I just went ahead and I dyed some. I've got some butterflies of dyed pink. Um, a little flower. I've even sourced some white um, fabric in case we need it. See, that was pink. A little pink flower. These. I saw some more of them. I even cut more of this. Do you remember that it was like a beige kind of colour and scrunched up my hand to give it the same effect? I've just gone ahead and if I don't use it in this project I'm not bothered because they can be used in another project but they're already dyed pink and I left them to dry so before I do anything else I know I'll get interruptions if I don't knock my phone off and I should have done it right at the big start of my video but I completely forgot so please forgive me I'm going to move those, that little journal my way and we're going to use this image now with this image i want because that's the this is our side so if this is our spine i don't particularly want our image to be on a, um, a slant because the thing is i've got this going on at the side and then i've got all this tassel trim at the bottom just raise you up a little bit so what I'm going to do is I'm going to circle that and where's my chalk? Um, we need a bit of blue. I've got it around just somewhere. It's pos probably I put it away, you know I me. Mean? Right. Now because this is on fabric, I'm just going to move the book. Raise it down a little bit. Because this is on fabric, I sort of want to um, make the corners round so all I'm doing is I'm doing uh, the letter C around the corners I'm going to cut that and see where I am then And it's better if you keep the image on the freezer paper, especially while you're playing about with the shape of it. If you wanted to keep the shape that you've printed out, then of course take the paper off. 
Right. That is our image. Isn't that she pretty? I'm so pleased I uh, sourced that off, off Etsy. So, let's get our book back. Our book. And I'm going to put her there. She actually fits in. She looks beautiful. Now, I do have some doilies. So what I was thinking was, because I want to raise a little bit, but I'm going to give it a bit of a background. And the way I'm going to do that is, I'm going to use this brown doily. No, that's too big. Let me hit source on a smaller one. That's small, no. That's too big. No, nope, that's too big. And that should be right. Okay, so it just peeks through. There. Can you see that? Now, I'm just thinking. Just thinking about. I just want to play about with these layers. Yeah, I think I'll stick to the white at the back. Mm, actually, will I go at the back? Just that image. Just looking for that image. I'm not going to use all of it, I don't think. Let me have a play about here now. They actually look quite pretty on the sides. Mm. I don't want it to cover this pattern. That's the only thing. I think what I might do is this. Oh, I've got an image in my head. Right, let's go for it. One, two, three. Okay, one, two, three, four. Right, one, two, three. I'm going to cut around. One, two, three, four. There or oh, yeah, there. There. Can you see how I've done that? I've created an almost border. So what I've done, I've cut the doily and I've left a little bit because I quite like the idea of those flowers being there. And I've left three on this side and four on that side. So when that doily goes down. She can go, she can sit there and then we can play about with our pink appliques and it will pop. So I'm going to put my glue gun in now. So, Mr. Glue Gun, come on now, you got nice not to burn me today because I'm not in the mood for no burning. I did have this fabric and although... See if I put that there and then put that there, I think it's too much. This fabric's too much. So even though it's pink, and that's what I'm saying. When you sit and you play, because um, what's all I've done is sat and played about with what I've got, you will come up with a design that you're pleased with. Oh look, see, that's what she needed. She needed a bit more white. So let me raise you up. So that's what we're looking at at the minute. Okay. See how I've kept those four, them four there. And all I've done is I've just taken a couple out. I want this to show. And I've just left that little bit there. But when I... When it's all stuck down, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the stuff that we um, dyed pink and I'm going to use it on this project. So I'm going to 
face that down, face that down. I'm going to put a little bit of glue in the centre, not too much. And then I'm going to work my way around from there. Oh, I do need a glue stick. A clad, that would help. So, how is everybody doing then? I have been... What have I been up to? Nothing much. I, um, like I say, I've been printing some images out today. I've got news on my car. I should have that um, in about a week's time. I'm so excited. Um... So, look out, craft shop. Here comes clients. <laughs> oh, I'm so giddy. I'm so excited. It's coming to me. Really, really excited. I, um, I went down the garage yesterday and I couldn't see the car. And I'm like, Chris, I can't see our car. Because even though I'm the driver, I keep saying to Chris, it's our car, you know, it's our car. And he's going, Claire, it's your car, not ours. No, but it's our car, Chris, it's our car. <laughs> anyway, I walked into the garage yesterday and I couldn't see the car. And, uh, Chris, I can't see our car, I said. And he said, Clat. I went, yeah. He said, they're working on it. It's over there. And as he, he said it, I could see it. And he was up on, you know, one of those lift things that they probably use all the time well that's what it was i'm just gonna put one there i think because it's looking out of place get it down a little more there. i thought it was looking out of place Um, yeah, so we were on one of those lift things and I said to the guy, I said, oh, you, you, what's happening with my car? And he said, oh, we're working on it. He said, because um, they, they were to have my uh, wheelchair to fit the lock on the floor. And you know what? Anybody that's in a wheelchair will know what I mean by this. It's like having your right arm cut off and somebody lending it and you're like totally lost without it. Which I am. But I suppose when it comes, it'll be worth it. It will, it shall be worth it when it arrives. Can't wait for it to arrive. Mm -hmm. And I'm not telling you the colour because my I haven't told my mum the colour yet. She doesn't know. We'll see it soon though. So another week and... Uh, well, I'll be out and about, as they say. Oh, I cannot wait. Cannot wait. It's going to be like a different world. Because I'll be able to drive, be able to go places. Be able to see a lot more. It's the idea, isn't it? Right, so there's our little image. And she, this book is coming on beautifully. Right, so this is our image. Now I'm going to peel back the paper. Right. So it looks a lot flatter now. You know how I said we've got some pink trim? I'm going to make a flower there to go there, I think. Make a flower to go there. Let's see what these wedding applicators are doing. Uh, I'm sure I printed more out. Yeah, I did. So we will have the car. I can't wait. Cannot wait. Do you think if I ordered an helicopter, do you think that would right make it come quicker? Um, let me think. I'm going to snip into this. See, you can't fussy cut appliques. And cut them down to whatever you want, really. 
So I've got that so far. Can you all see that? So it's coming. All right, now what I'm looking for is brown, I think. Not brown. I'm looking for a small... There's leaves in this one. Oh, I had... Oh, this is a small one. There. Just layering to see where I'm going to go with it. See? Can you see that? She's looking so beautiful. So elegant. She's looking really, really elegant. Now, I have got some of this beautiful trim. And what I'm thinking of doing is using it and I think I will look see on the outside all the way up um, and like I say you don't have to use everything you've cut out because don't forget things do come in um, they do come in handy when you're doing things like this and uh, when you go and you think, oh, I've cut that out and I should use that. And you think, oh, I do. I hate sort of cutting things out for the sake of it. Does that make sense? Now, I've got this applique here. I'm not so keen on the netting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of get rid of all this netting. I'm going to put another layer on that. See? Oh, right. Let me stick this picture down and then we can go from there. I thought she was actually stuck. Never mind, eh? Right. And I've actually um, not cut her on cord this time. Well, it's on cotton cord. If that makes sense. Right. I'm going to pad her as well. So, to pad her... You, well, this is what I need to do, right? Glue all the way down um, at the top and the sides. Around the corner. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue there to just stretch it over a tad. Right, now to pad her, I need some padding, don't get rid of that part. Now I'm using some toy stuff in. I like to pad my images, I just think, I hate things being flat. I just think if you can give it a bit of depth um, to pad her out, then why not? See, she's not going to be so flat now, she's going to be raised. Gonna use all this. Hope you can see what I'm doing. See that colour on that um, picture has really come out nice. And I haven't used um, a special printer to do it. It was done with freezer paper. Um, I didn't show you how to do it in this particular video because I've already showed you in the live and I just thought you don't really want to see um, you don't really want to be seeing the same thing well, she's padded now so that is giving her a little bit of a different element there So if you can pad your images, not just cut them out, I would say pad them. Because look at the look what we've created. We've created this gorgeous image. Now I I printed, I painted this pink. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it in half. And I'm gonna go 
around the corners with that. Because even though this is pink, I don't want it to be too in your face. Don't want it to be sort of I live in a Barbie world and use pink. <laughs> Oh, goodness me. Right. So I'm going to put one in here. Don't know whether to follow it all the way around. Because we've got those doilies going here, look. Let me see. What did we have in this corner? We had her, didn't we? I'm going to follow it all the way around, but instead of putting that one there, I think. Yeah, look. Can you see that? What we've created. That could go there. I think I'm going to stick that there. That was actually a happy accident. I just was placing it down. So I didn't lose it, but the thing is now Oh wow This is going to look so amazing once it's finished When my glue gun decides to stand Right, I've put some more Now I need to go round that corner and back up Can you see, like, I love things textured um, by that, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I just like, if it's got a bit of level to it or it's, um, oh, you know, it's raised, that to me is like, wow, you've actually thought that out. Do you know what I mean? And, yeah. I quite I love things raised. I love things textured. Um, I'll tell you what we have got. Now I might go in my box for in a second. Is I had those nice trims um, when I bought some off Esme. I got some there. Now I haven't got any more of this. Didn't obviously print enough out. So let me have a look what I've got in this box. Let me have a look. Right, we have a wedding applique. Won't be too big. Um, bit of that. Oh, we do have a pink one. We have this pearl trim. And we have some of this. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Right, so we've got some of this nice trim here. Let me see if I can, what it looks like. Let me just cut the corner off. What it looks like. Oh, see? Oh, look. Can you see that, how I've done that? I'm going to think I'm going to gather it up. I love his mace trims. Really, really do. They're so unique and they're so, they're just beautiful. They, she doesn't just buy things to sell them she actually really thinks about it and thinks about what kind of things people would really like and uh yeah and i just yeah wow see this image is gorgeous now i did do a mistake on the live I said right at the end of the live, I said to preserve the image. Oh, I was confused. No, not confused. I'm confused now. No, I was tired when I did it. Um, I was getting tired. And. Come on. And don't throw that out because that can be put in your scrap flowers. And um, I said put some. T um, tacky glue with water to preserve the ink on the image no Colette got it wrong it's hairspray because of the lacquer in the hairspray 
Oh wow, this is amazing. So it's hairspray that you need, which I'll do in a second now. Oh, my finger. I've got my protector on my finger and I'm not even using it. What am I like? I'm going to use it I'm not using it. <laughs> I'm going to turn this around just to cut the excess off. Oh wow, look at that. That is stunning. You don't want to enter the competition, do you? No, you're fine. Nah, it's alright. Don't enter the competition. I'll keep the goodies. It's fine, honestly. <laughs> oh. I'll tell you something. These This glue gun is... Oh, I don't know if swallow some glue up. This is vintage, did she call it vintage trim? I'm just going to go around to that end by there. Stay. This is stunning. You don't want to enter the competition, honestly. You don't want a box full of goodies, honestly. <laughs> oh, my days, what am I like? Right, I'm going to just cut the excess off. Is cut off. Now I've got this doily here which is going to be stuck there. Right, and then I'm going to stick that there. But before I do, before, before I do that, I had. No, that's a bit bigger. Let's see what I've got here. got some of these beautiful leaves and see them so what I'm thinking more is to cut this out right and then stick that there actually I might just get rid of these bold um, shapes I'm not going to throw it away, don't throw it away, I'm going to put it in my box. Now, I did have your... There, look, see? It's giving it a little bit of dimension. What I'm going to do, I just need a little bit of glue. I'm going to follow the pattern around. I'm going to stick that there. Where's that applique gone? And then that can go there. See? I'll raise you down in a second. I've got some, put some pearl trim on you. And I think we're done for the first page. Right, and I'm going to go there. And then this one that I painted pink, or dyed pink rather, that's got some netting on. 
Now, you can keep it. Nobody's going to see it. But it does bother me. The netting really, really irritates me. I don't know why. I don't know whether it's because I don't like the texture of it. I couldn't tell you. But the netting on here is like um, oh, like a see-through. Come on. It's like a see-through almost. Come on, come on, cut. Right. So if I stick that in there, you can sort of see it building now. Let me raise you down. See, that's what we've done. And. Right now, we need some pearl trim. So, let me disappear and I'll come back with your pearl trim. So, I've dug out some pearl string and I've got some of this left over. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring it down and I'm just going to put some on the bottom. Oh, come on. Every now Hi everybody, I am back. My camera died. Oh, I know. So what I've done is I, I didn't realise the camera was dying and I sort of was going with the flow. Is I've you just saw me stack this um like beigey trim on the bottom. So I'm gonna take this off a sec with the loose bits off. This trim. And you know the pieces I cut off when I was putting this trim around and I cut off four pieces well i've put them on top of this trim and then i've put flat back pearls in just a little bit of there's five there and then there's four there just to you know um on the edge so it doesn't look out of place keep forgetting i can zoom you down see right and then up here I haven't stuck the, these leaves down yet, but I will do in a second. Um, up here, I've stuck some pearl string. And what else have I done? Oh, I've stuck this uh, like flower trim all the way around. And I've sprayed the top with hairspray. BO5 hairspray did absolutely wonders um, you saw me stick that down there's nothing else and I'm just about to finish it off by sticking this down so I hope you've enjoyed um, watching me build this don't forget we've got the inside to do yet now I dyed this pink I'm going to bring you up a little bit dyed this pink and I'm going to sort of not have this on top of each other. I'll show you what I mean now. There's one pink and one white. Actually, if I'm totally honest, Chris has just come in. I said, oh, what would you reckon? I said, I really, really like the pink and the white. If I put it on top of each other, because it's the same flower, it's not going to blend in. And he said, well, why don't you not put it in the centre, but just sort of put it off side and then put this bling piece in the centre. And I went, oh, that's a good idea. Right, I'm going to open that flower up because he is... Right, so that's there. And then I've got some pearl, um, some leaves, pink leaves. That I'm gonna stick just under you, and then that's the first page done. Um, like I say, we are going it on the inside um, tomorrow. Um, but this is the first page done. Oh, sorry, guys, I'm trying to get it all in shot. What do you think to the first page? I want honest opinions. 
do you think i don't particularly want to add to it but do you think you want to add to it would you like it the way it is um tell me what you think tell me exactly what you think whether you think that image is nice whether you think the idea of cutting a paper tag out on onto fabric is nice and pretty what do you guys think so i'll leave that with you um, tomorrow we're going to start on going on the inside um, I don't quite know what we're doing on the inside yet I might I might stick to the sort of the same colours all the way through we will we'll have to wait and see um, I know I did print some of these images out earlier didn't I um, just on a look some cherubs um, I might use the paper tags and the papers to do the inside especially those doves i'd love to use those doves inside this book so yeah we'll we'll tomorrow we're gonna work out what we're doing inside what colors would you go on the inside would you go do you want me to stick with the the little wedding set that i printed off earlier and all those beautiful papers which are here you know do you want me to stick to that and I print it out on fabric or would you like me to go um, a different colour not too pink, do a different colour let me know because at the end of the day this book is going in the competition box and I'd love to know your opinions um, you've come along with a ride on the making of this book I hope I've done it step by step so I haven't gone too quick for you sorry that the, the last bit that I couldn't show you um, I didn't realise my camera had stopped filming but we are going to go on the inside tomorrow. Um, I have got um, ideas to do pockets for the inside. So that's what we're going to do tomorrow. Um, but yeah, she's coming on beautifully. She's really, really coming on. So yeah, let me know what you think. And uh, thank you for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you all very soon. Bye now.